I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father, I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are discussing the nation of Israel being hated of all nations. The nation of Israel being the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. The first scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 9. Then shall they, they meaning all nations, deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Afflicted, meaning mocked, ridiculed, being treated as outcasts, being treated as crazy, and shall kill you. Some, yes, will go to sleep, but it also means killing the truth. As they have said, Yahweh Shai is not a dark-skinned man, but he is a, an Edomite. He's a so-called white man. That's how they killed Yahweh Shai off in the land of Mystery Babylon. If you were to go to Revelations 11, chapter 8, it says, it talks about our dead bodies, the dead bodies of the nation of Israel, and how we were dead in Mystery Babylon, so-called United States of America. Um, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is Mystery Babylon, United States of America which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So he was also killed, crucified, executed in Mystery Babylon. Yahweh Shai was physically killed in Israel and then spiritually killed in Mystery Babylon, which is spiritual Sodom and Egypt. They painted over his image, thus killing him and his history. Other countries on the earth know the truth. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Now, this is very important because some people will say, well, there are other nations on this earth that are hated. None are hated for the name of Yahweh Shai. None. None. Matter of fact, there are people of the other nations that are making good money talking about Jesus. Good money. But when this truth is brought out, people hate it. Mm -mm -mm, they hate it. Don't say that name. Don't speak about him. Don't speak this truth. Now, the reason we started with this scripture is because Yahweh Shai said we will be hated of all nations. That means all nations. Let's prove that. Let's continue on in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. All men, that means men and women, will hate those of the nation of Israel. Now, how do we prove this hatred? Our brothers and sisters of the Northern Kingdom, being the so-called Latin Hispanics, are trying to make their way into Mystery Babylon. And they are stopped at the border and they are arrested and they are detained and they are given these fines for tens of thousands of dollars. Their children are being taken away from them. They're being separated at the border. They were considering taking toddlers, young, young children, and putting them in camps, in tents, out in the middle of the desert during the summer. That's hatred. But it also proves that the so-called Latin Hispanics are of the nation of Israel. There are no little Swedish babies being detained in camps or being stripped from their parents or being put in detention centers that are like prisons and then coming out of those centers and dying a few days later. That's hatred. There are camps out there that are bringing forth truth and edifying the body. They are now being labeled as hate groups. They are being labeled as racists. That's hate. So how will it begin for our brothers and sisters who are finding their way back to the truth? How will it begin for you? So the father wakes you up and you start seeking him out and wisdom leads you to the truth the truth of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the truth of your history as the nation of Israel. And maybe you start to ask some questions in your church, Catholic church, Christian church, whatever church. Here's what you'll find. 
the next scripture we're going to is the book of St. John, chapter 16, verse 2. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth the most high's service. Take that in for a minute. They shall put you out of the synagogue. So they're going to kick you out of their churches. They're going to say, get out of here with that blasphemy and that heresy and that, that racism and that hatred. God loves everybody. Jesus loves everybody. Get out of here with that. We don't want to hear that, that you're talking about. We definitely don't want to hear the judgments coming. We don't want to hear any of that. We don't want to hear about the commandments and the statutes. We don't want to hear about the laws. We don't want to hear about it. And they're going to try and kill you off. So they'll try and kill off your reputation, your character, your name. And for some, they will go as far as trying to kill you. But they will think that they're doing it in service to the Most High. And what did the Most High say in the commandments? Thou shalt not kill. I mean, come on. Come on. You're going to kill, break one of the commandments of Yahweh, the Most High Power, and think you're doing His service? You're going to touch one of His servants and think you won't be judged? Good luck with that. So this will be one of the first places that they will come at you. Let's prove that. Let's go now to the book of St. Luke, chapter 21, verse 12. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues. What they're talking about in church is the truth. What you're talking about is nonsense. It's nonsense. They're going to ridicule you. They're going to tell you again, God loves everybody. Jesus loves everybody. Since people love their technology so much, go to any search engine and type in Jesus loves everyone or Jesus loves everybody and then put the letters KJV, which is the King James Version of the Bible behind it. Jesus loves everybody. Jesus loves everyone. KJV, King James Version of the Bible. Not a single verse will come up. You can use any search engine you want. It won't come up. It won't. But they're going to try and beat the truth out of you. They shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. These people are terrorists. They're talking about America being bombed by nukes. These people are terrorists. They're insurrectionists. They're militants. Do something about these people. These people are unpatriotic. They hate where they live. They're talking about judgment coming on this earth. Do something about these people. They're messing with my view of the world. <laughs> Do something about these people. <laughs> Let's see what our great prophet Yahweh Shai said about these times. Let's return now to the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 10. And then shall many be offended. Offended? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you tell me as a man I can't marry another man? How dare you? How dare you tell me as a woman I can't be in love with another woman? How dare you? What right do you have? Who are you? Who's your God? Who's this Yahweh Shai you speak of? No. My pastor accepts me. My preacher accepts me. Who are you? And shall betray one another. Now this is where you need to pay attention, Israel. They will try to hurt you. They will try to set you up. This is why you must stay on the Father's path that he has set forth before us, so that you do not fall into any traps. And shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. So again, these mega churches are here. They've got, they have thousands and thousands of worshipers in their churches. They also have television and cable. So they are out here speaking a doctrine that is not in alignment with the truth of this Bible. They speak prosperity and God loves everyone. Jesus loves everyone. God wants you to be happy. Just do whatever you want. No, 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 no. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And what did Yahweh Shai command us? Love thy neighbor as thyself. It's getting to the point on this earth where you're not allowed to have an opinion. If you do not agree with the popular mindset, you're an outcast. I never thought I'd live to see the day, but the makers of that famous female doll with the house and the car are now coming out with a gender 
neutral doll. This is the wickedness on this earth. This is the absolute utter wickedness on this earth. And it is deceiving many. There is no such thing as gender neutral. It does not exist. The pure natural love of a man for a woman and a woman for a man is waxing cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. In the chapters on witchcraft, we discussed how being accepted into this current world, world meaning time frame, age, span of time, how being accepted and embraced into this world is very seductive. But what we are being warned about here in the scriptures by Yahweh Shai himself is you shall be hated. So we as the nation of Israel, the one third, the true believers who have turned ourselves unto the father, Yahweh, we must gird up our loins. We must prepare for battle. And this hatred is showing itself. As a matter of fact, there's a new movie coming out. Uh, about one of those um, comic book heroes, the bad guy, starts with the letter J, and they put all these warnings out about how there may be shootings in movie theaters because of this movie. Well, someone hacked into the movie studio's social media account and sent out to a huge number of people this tweet, but at the bottom of the tweet, it says, at hate niggers. It's no mistake that in the last few years, this sentiment is rising, this hatred for the nation of Israel, because this truth is being preached. The other nations are hearing this truth as it is to be spoken because Yahweh has put the breath back into the life of his prophets. And so their spirit knows that what's being said is the truth. And they hate it. They hate it. Moab, the so-called Chinese, hate the fact that they're going to be judged. Elam, the so-called East Indians, are going to be judged. Esau, yeah, definitely going to be judged. Ammon, so-called Japanese, they're going to be judged. Now, again, like I've always said, they're not all evil, wicked people, but a great number of them are going to be judged. Judged. We must really understand this. Really understand it. This hatred is here. Now, today. Let's now go to the book of St. Luke, chapter 21, verse 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. So we started with Matthew 24, 9. And the reason we started with that is because Yahweh Shai said, we shall be hated of all nations. That does not mean all the other nations. That means all the nations. We as the remnant, the one third who have turned unto the Father, we're going to be hated of the two thirds of the nation of Israel who refuse to turn back to the Father, who refuse to do it. So we're going to be hated of our own family members. And for some of you brothers and sisters, that's going to be a tough thing. That may be the toughest thing you have to endure, the hatred of your family the betrayal of your family. But as it is written, it must occur. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. When brothers stand up to speak, when they go out to camp, when they give classes, when they go online, they know that there is a target on them now. They know. They're like, all right, you know, I might die for this work. But since this work is being done in truth and sincerity, the brothers are prepared for it. If Yahawashai was willing to go through that brutal, brutal execution to bring us home, we can die for him. We can die for the nation of Israel. The servant is no greater than the master. If he's willing to give it all, so must we. I know that's a little hard to hear for some of you. And that's why it says, and some of you. <laughs> and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. But there would be no greater honor, no greater honor on Judgment Day than to say, yeah, you know, they put me down, um, but I was doing the work, Father. I was doing the work, Yahweh Shai. I was doing the work. Make no mistake about it, World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. 
It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest, and Brother Yahawashai. Thus saith Yahweh. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Wherefore Yahweh also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahawashai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahawashai is Lord, to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world, remember who you are, and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.